one half of Run the Jewels and host of the Netflix show Trigger Warning, Michael Render, a.k.a. Killer Mike, is over here. Big Mike. There's that. There's that thousand watt smile. How are you? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right. Mike, so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. Are you representing there? What uh, is this that? is, uh, man, this is, in, in, actually, I know we're going to get around and talk about capitalism at some point. Well, okay. Um, a, a couple kids sent yes. me a big and tall streetwear brand called oh, Brand. So okay. they're chubby. They figured chubby kids could buy expensive shoes. So I invested in their company. I bought oh, some of them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> big of you. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I got a million things I want to ask you. Let's yeah. just start with Jay-Z, because that's all in the news. Jay-Z has partnered with the NFL. Yes. I understand Robert Kraft is the one who brought them together. Robert's and, uh, gotten a lot of hip-hop points was, the past couple of years. Isn't that amazing? Because yeah, he's, he he's an owner. Got Meek Free, got jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> all in line with rapper shit. <laughs> You know you like that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no the, insult though. I like right. Mr. Kraft. But uh, the internet is on Jay Z. Yeah. Like uh, Beyonce's sister in an elevator. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> because of course. It, we had the Super Bowl, and, yeah. and Colin Kaepernick still doesn't have a job in the NFL. Does not. And there was a lot of pressure from a lot of people saying, "You artists, you Maroon Five played the gig, but they got shit for doing it." Some people stayed away. Some people are now saying that Jay Z is giving NFL cover Eric Reed. He's a he's a Pro Bowler for the yeah, Panthers. Yeah, hell of a player. He said it looks like your goal, talking to Jay Z, was to make millions by assisting the NFL in burying Collins' career. I don't agree with that, but I want your take. Um, being a Black American is a duality, right? And I navigated it because I was raised in Atlanta. So an Atlanta Super Bowl came last year. I stood up in one of the meetings and I raised hell about there not being a social climate involved, meaning um, I said at least you can have 12 kid shadow producers and learn how to produce a show. We have an arts and theater school that Outcast came out of, Tri-City. My school, Frederick Douglass High School, arts program. I was like, simple as that, you can do that, right? <laughs> I saw how our communities got decimated when Major League Baseball kind of pulled out years ago. Um, they found another genetic pool down in the Dominican Republic they could get much cheaper, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> are we still talking about Jay-Z? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Because what we're really talking about is sports <laughs> plantations and what fuels them, right? So the NFL is fueled by talent from black kids and poor and working class white kids that make good. Jay-Z has been a capitalist his entire career and a celebrated one because he was one of us that made it out the streets, made it in the rooms, and he did what he could when he should. When the Grammys did not show the hip-hop portion, Jay-Z boycotted. I know because I boycotted that same year. Only Grammy I ever won. I was sad as hell after. But I stood in solidarity. <laughs> Jay-Z's play, okay. I believe, not only gives us a seat at the table, young people, young black America, it yes. doesn't destroy what Cap knelt for. What he knelt for was proper treatment of us by state agents, but please. That does not end with him getting a job. The same way him kneeling is not an insult to the military. It is as an American asserting your First right. Amendment rights, saying something and is wrong. So on both sides of this polarized issue that we're given to narrow these narrow issues, these wide issues and given this narrow frame to argue, like Chomsky said, we shouldn't do that. Look for the tertiary agreements. I believe that if Jay-Z becomes his team owner, Cap gets a tryout. Yeah, I, well, okay. <laughs> well, I, I just, I mean, I won't read this whole quote, but... The quote is basically saying, time, to, time for action. Yes. Uh, and it, to me, it sounds like he's been talking to Obama. No. You know, it... Jay-Z has. No. Because this is Obama to me. Well, well, let's no. do something real. Let's get something done. Let's not well, the let the perfect American... be the enemy of the good. But the African-American community will argue that Obama didn't do that. There are elements, the same elements that would argue it's... that Jay-Z is betraying. There's an element that argue, out of the African-American community that's not very pleased with Obama. Now, I'm not here to castigate, I'm just simply saying, we are not monolithic. monolithic. No. We have different views. And around Jay-Z, there was a mayor in Atlanta named Maynard Jackson. When he took mayoral ship, this is what he said. We're going to have a seat at this table, so 29% of any contract that comes across the city has to be African-American participating and owned. He couldn't find one African-American architecture firm at that time, so you know what he did? hired black contractors to build a runways. He said, if you can build a driveway, you can build a runway. So although he couldn't include us in architecture, he got black companies like the Herman Russell Company working to build Fulton County Stadium to build that. And okay. that's what Jay's doing. And with right. that said, okay. I'm a huge supporter of Kaepernick. All right. <laughs> Thank you.
May I ask a second question? <laughs> You'll get more questions. Okay, so guns. Yes. Every time you're here, we have to talk about guns. I don't know why. Well, there was a shooting last week, and yes. Cory Booker, Kamala Harris have, have gun plans out, and they're talking about these red flag laws. I bet you I know that you're not down with that. No. I can't be. I'm an African-American male. <laughs> I live in a progressive city in the Deep South. I'm surrounded by white gun owners who have owned guns for generations who agree with the president that's being compared to nationalistic and Nazi-like. I would be a fool to then give my guns to said government. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have anything personally against the lobby to get Kamala and Corey in, whether it be a Senate seat or presidency. It means that I simply cannot, in my support of black participation in politics, that is an issue I cannot support. Because a red flag means they're going to find reasons to take guns. Well, they already, they already have. And you, I, I know you would say that they're going to find more reasons with... Easy. The gun laws affect African Americans worse than first. You know how Dr. King got guns to be an issue? He filed for a concealed carry permit. Right. You know that in the Deep South 70, 80 years ago, black men could buy shotguns and they could not buy rifles. Well, what's the difference? They both kill people. A shotgun can kill the Klan once they're 30 yards away. A rifle could kill the Klan at 100 yards away. I would want a dead Klansman 100 yards away so that he never gets within 30 yards of shooting my wife and children. And... <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, we already have, in my view, too many police. You know, there are five police forces, forces between Malibu and this studio. I've been pulled over by four of them. <laughs> They all let me keep my weed, though. That's how I knew you guys were much more progressive. But, you know, there's the FBI and the DEA yeah. and the ATF yeah. and the TSA yeah. and ICE and federal yeah. and sheriff's department yeah. and the federal marshals and border and, and customs and state police. Cousin the cops. And... I, but, you know, that's a lot of people with a license to kill who don't really share Absolutely. my politics, and Absolutely. they all love Trump. Absolutely. There's... Well, I can't say all, but a lot. Like, I had a no, black no. cop call Almost me last week all. who's a constitutionalist. Cops so I know love Trump. He voted Trump. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so um, you're Atlanta. Yeah, there Atlanta. was a big uh, conclave today with Mayor Pete was there. Yeah, uh, I'll be I'll be Corey there tomorrow. Booker with was there. Yeah. Oh, you will be there tomorrow. Yeah, I'll leave right after here to fly home. Oh, my wow. wife's not happy about that. Uh, <laughs> she wants to stay in Malibu and smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would it be different in Malibu? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, weed is weed. That's what's great about know, it. it. Doesn't matter where you weed. are. Yeah, we got better yeah. strip clubs. You got better weed. We should uh. meet in the middle. <laughs> <sighs> Green weed and black women, man. Okay, That's all, right, it. all right, all right. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so uh, Mayor Pete. Yeah. What, what do you think about Mayor Pete? Because I, every time I turn in the news, they're talking about him. And they say, well, he's got a problem. You know, he's not down with the brown. <laughs> I, I, I like his personality. I don't know enough of his policy. I know he ran into some issues around the police and um, in the South Bend area. My thing is, with police forces and any mayor, <clears throat> why do they seem to have control and volley over the mayor's office versus the other way around? Now, in my city, police seem to be taken to task more, right? Um, there was a group of policemen who accidentally killed a black, um, a black old lady on a, a, a false premise drug raid. They were sent to jail. Policemen killed the kid who um, was falsely accused of stealing a car and went to jail. That doesn't happen in other places. New York, de Blasio could have done something quicker. He did not. So he showed his cowardice. In Mayor Pete's growth into a national politician, he's going to have to get out in front of this and be tough and square. Dick Gregory said something years ago, God bless the dead. If you attack insurance companies and the police pensions, you will see a deceleration. Because he said, it's funny, you never see black cops accidentally keep killing white kids. Not that they're more spiritual or smarter. They understand that white people are not going to tolerate it. And the way that you don't tolerate things in capitalism is attack the money. If your police force is misabusing and using you and they don't look like you, find ways to attack their money. Find ways to attack their unions, their pensions, Find ways to attack the city's money and you'll see change. Okay.